Hey kids, it's Flaming Goop here, and as you can see, I finally finished doing all the decorating that came with this huge den, and I just wanted to make this at the end to show the final overview, because some stuff I like didn't record, that I like, did some touch-up at the end and stuff, but yeah, like this is just like the part at the end, I'm just going to show off the whole den. Alright, so here's just kind of like the entrance area that I made. I'm not like that big of a fan of it, like it's not my best work, but like I didn't, this den is very hard to the outside but I think this is like good enough and this is like the best I could do for that and then over here kind of walk and the stones get like more scarce as you gradually come over there's a little croquet area some farming hay bales and this little cute little garden that I made and then you come over here and you cross this bridge and I put like these grass with worms here because I thought it looks like there was moss growing on the bridge and it was kind of old and rickety purple tulips to match the purple bridge and a gazebo on the water and in this area I made like as like a little homeless person's roost I guess for people to like I don't know I just thought it looks good and like the green matched and stuff so I just kind of put all this stuff here and then you come in here this is like my favorite room in the whole house it's the orange room and so it's like orange and green too a lot of the rooms just have like green with them because I always use plants but I just like the way like the ground in this room looks and then these like walls have these carrots, so that's perfect. It's orange and green already. And I just thought like this room was gonna be so hard to decorate because there's like no wall space. But it actually turned out to be like the easiest and I put all this stuff in and I do a lot of like things like one, two, I did four clovers, and then I did like four orange mats, and then I did like three of these tables and two of these. And I do a lot of things that have like a multiple of each. And I just think it looks good to keep it kind of, like, consistent with that, so. And, oh, I also ran out of space, so I couldn't do the basement, but, like, oh well. I just blocked it off and made a room. But across this bridge, there's nothing in here. But then here, this is the, the more, like, black and green room that I made. It's okay. I kind of, I like it. I like the green walls and I liked doing these shelves but I did run out of like space to place things. I guess I might have a little bit now because I took up some, I took out like some things earlier but yeah. Yeah that was the last thing I could put in here so rip. But this is the black room and I use these TVs as like the back of these couches because this is the black couch that I had and I didn't want to buy anything new because like my inventory is already dead and then out here I have like this gate here I don't know I don't know I like this little like balcony sort of style right here with like this chair and you can like look into this room I just like the fact that this home is like it's kind of layered and this is the pink room and I'm not really sure about the green walls but I had to keep the same the same walls across the whole house and it just works the best and I liked this room. I do like this room. I use these old couches that I posted on my Instagram that I like. This chair design. And then just some pink stuff. And this sectional sofa. Like literally like it, it's um. I made it backwards by connecting other sofas. So that it fit together like this. And I don't know. It was a good room because I have like these books. And I have a lot of good pink stuff. And then in here, it was just a really big room, and I didn't want to have the back of the sectional, so I just covered it in these trees, and I have a pink flamingo by this pond area. And yeah, and so down here, it's one of the good rooms, in my opinion, I like it. It looks really good with these walls. It's gray and green, and I have this perfect art, and these perfect bookshelves, and everything. And I put all this, like, mist in it to make it kind of, like, mysterious, I guess. I, I put this mist, and it's kind of just, like, a misty green, like humid like tropical like little rainforesty like nook, kind of reading it's a library too basically i guess that's what i would sum it up as and i like that room here is i don't these are like not my favorite rooms because they have not the greatest floor but i try to decorate it as the best i could so these are the blue rooms so this is just like they're all the same they're all just mixed blues and it's just this whole area here and this is a seating area that i made and you can light up this fire and it's like really pretty blue and I put this narwhal masterpiece too and it you come by the waterfall and obviously up here there's nothing here because I kind of I had I ran out of space obviously and then I also put these like couches here the color changing star sofas because I thought it looks cool like it kind of just looks like rocks 
with the waterfall it changed color and I think it looks really cool. And here's more blue. It's kind of just like a patio style with like seats and storage and stuff. And then in here, uh, I know I decorated this down in that lava room, but I had to move it up here because I had nothing here and then I had this all the way back there and I couldn't fill in this room either. So I just blocked this area off with these. And it's kind of just like a rainbow. I put this here, kind of, it does, it's kind of weird with like the paint, but I think it matches pretty well because it's kind of just very colorful. But it's mostly red, green, and brown because those are my favorite colors in dense, red, green, and brown. I have a lot of red, green, and brown items. And oh my god, I'm almost out. This is the last room. Oh my god, that's so small. I think this house is huge, but like I'm already done. And this is the last room. It just meets up with this orange area. And so, as you can see, I did the trio thing again with three cars and three grasses. And I liked this because these three paints with this literally match the rocks on the walls. So I just thought it looked great. And I liked this banner. And I just like this room a lot too. And I have a lot of good tulips that match it. So it's kind of got some pink. It's pink and purple with some green in it. And I like it on the drum. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry I haven't been able to post as much, but I've been kind of busy and I knew I'm, I know that I said I was going to post daily, but that's just like really hard with the videos that I do because I don't, I don't know, it's hard to post daily when you don't even have like that much motivation. But yeah, so basically, also this is going to be the last video for the next two weeks and then I'll come back soon. I really just like I was thinking about posting a few times during it, but then I just realized, like, I'm going to take, like, a complete vacation, because I'm not going to get, a, like, a long vacation like this again for a while. I'm just, like, getting off, like, Instagram and all this stuff. So, I'm excited, though, to come back. And I'm sure, like, after two weeks, I'll be excited to come back and start recording again, posting on Instagram and doing Animal Jam. But, yeah... So I hope you guys enjoy this den. I hope you like it. And remember, if you use any of the inspiration from this den, then make sure, like, if you, like, literally copy this exact room and put it here, make sure you, like, credit it in video or post by just, if it's a video, you can credit my YouTube. And if it's a post on Instagram or something, then you can credit my Instagram. And if it's on something that I don't have, like, Twitter or something, then you can just credit my, like, Animal Jam username or something. Or my Instagram still, anything you want. As long as I'm just credited, I'll feel good and I'll be happy that you guys are using my um, designs in your own dens and that you like them. So, sorry for all this like talking that I'm doing. But